we want to smoothly drive a car with a manual gearbox, it is essential to have good clutch control. We need to understand what the clutch is doing, know how to use it correctly when driving, and develop the skill of operating the clutch pedal smoothly. In this video, we will show you how to master clutch control in a few different situations so that you can drive smoothly and avoid those embarrassing stalls. Keep watching after the end titles for extra bonus footage. It's important to understand what the clutch is and how it works. If we look at the car's engine, we can't actually see the clutch. The clutch is the device that connects and disconnects the car's engine to the gearbox and wheels. When we push the clutch pedal down, it disconnects the engine from the gearbox, which allows us to select gears or stop the car. When we lift the clutch pedal gently up again, it reconnects the engine to the gearbox, which provides a little drive to the wheels. Then lift the clutch pedal fully to send all of the power to the wheels. Let's watch how to use the clutch when pulling away. Now let's take another look, this time step by step. First, we press the clutch pedal down and select first gear. Then we gently press the accelerator pedal to raise the engine revs just above idle. These extra revs are important as they will provide extra power to help avoid stalling. Next we lift the clutch pedal up a little until we feel the clutch start to bite. We need to find just the right amount of clutch bite point, too little and the car won't move, too much and it will judder or stall. Try listening for the engine note deepening or look for the nose of the car rising a little as it strains against the handbrake. Then we release the handbrake and keep both feet still as the car starts to roll forward. This will allow the clutch biting point to gently get the car rolling smoothly. Lift the clutch up fully once the car is at about walking pace and continue driving. We must be patient and wait until walking pace before lifting the clutch pedal up fully, as if we try to lift it up too early or in one go, the clutch will bite too quickly, which will probably stall the engine. Let's watch and listen as we try a hill start next. And one more look in slow motion. It's the same technique as pulling away on the flat, but with a little more revs to provide extra power to get the car moving uphill. Another time we will need good clutch control is when we are driving in stop-start traffic. So let's watch as we follow this traffic cue. At first, we just use first gear and the clutch biting point to edge forward slowly. A useful clutch technique in traffic is to let the car roll along slowly with the engine idling. So once we change into second gear, we let the car roll along without pressing any pedals, although we should keep our feet ready to react in case we need to stop quickly. When we need to reduce speed, just push the clutch pedal down to reduce drive to the wheels and use the brakes as needed. 
we use a little clutch biting point to get us rolling again gently and this time we roll along in first gear with the engine at idle. We can change the car's speed by adjusting the amount of clutch bite which will vary the amount of drive to the wheels. Once the traffic clears, we can drive on as normal. This technique of rolling along with the engine idling will usually work well in first, second and third gears, but the engine may struggle in higher gears. If you would like to see more footage of driving in heavy traffic, keep watching after the end titles. In this clip, we are looking for a space to park our car and we will need to do the reverse parallel park manoeuvre. This looks like a good space. When manoeuvring, it is important to keep the car's speed very slow. Around one mile per hour is about right normally. If we lift the clutch pedal just enough that the clutch is starting to bite, it will give enough drive to move the car slowly. From there, we can change the car speed by adjusting the amount of clutch bite, lift the pedal a little more to increase drive, or push the pedal down a little to reduce drive or stop the car. Let's drive on and park the car again further down the street. We can use this clutch technique any time we need to move slowly, such as the other manoeuvres or creeping out of tight junctions. Here is our second parking space. Notice that at no point do we lift the clutch pedal right up, as this would fully engage the clutch, which would make the car speed up too much. We always keep the clutch pedal low, which keeps the clutch at its biting point, so that the car stays slow enough for us to safely manoeuvre. So remember to use the clutch biting point to get the car rolling, lift the clutch pedal fully at walking pace, push the clutch down when stopping the car, and manoeuvre with the biting point. If you found this video interesting, please click like and subscribe to our channel as it really helps other people find our videos. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the bonus footage.